Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Pokemon Delta Emerald. In the last episode, we got another Meteorite Shard, and then something got stolen from Devon Corp. So we gotta go ahead and get it back, and where else could it be? In a place we've already been to. So we're just gonna head on back up there. If I could find the place, that would be kind of convenient if I could actually figure out where I'm supposed to go. You'd think because I was literally just here, I would remember, but... That does not seem to be the way the cookie is crumbling today, so we're just going to go ahead and stall for a little bit as I'm trying to find my way. And hello! Let's go, grunts! It'd probably be a good idea to heal beforehand. Did I do that off camera? Yes, I did! Oh, wait, no, I didn't, because I don't know anything. Uh, I do have healing rooms with me, so for the sake of just not backtracking, we are going to use our hyper potions. Use that... Goes up very, very slowly. I guess we use another one because we got that. We got potions to burn, and one more for good measure. Now I think I'm gonna keep Hariyama in the front because I know what's coming. I took a little sneak peek of just like checking uh, progress and how far uh, we've gone in the Delta episode. Uh, things are looking good so far, so let's go in here. And we probably got some Aqua Grunts to fight, right? We finally meet again. It's been three... Hmm, how long has it been? Three years, kind of. Nick and Poop, it doesn't matter. It actually has kind of been three years, hasn't it? Brace yourself, we won't let you call us mere quintuplets. Okay, what? I guess we fought all five of them before, but I just don't remember. Hooray! Gotta fight the Team Aqua Quintuplet group. And they all have a Mighty Anna! Because of course they do. Da 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 da! Ariyama, let's get this over with. You know what I'm gonna do, right, guys? Wow, that sinking. Wow, that sinking freeze. Oh, intimidate though. That's kind of unfortunate. Maybe I should have used Waylord Surf because that's a special attack. Wow, really decreasing that attack. Okay, now that you had your fun, it'd be hilarious if I still end up beating them. Uh, let's go and use Earthquake. It's all. It's level 25, so I probably will. Uh, let's go and do it. Come on, one hit KO. Uh, not quite. I beat two of them. That's lame. I wanted to see them all fall at the same time. Doesn't make sense. Okay, so we got Snarl. Smacked in the face. Uh, have my special attack fall down, because, like, oh, get roar. Gonna switch me out, I see. I swear if it's Waylord. Trico! Okay, that's kind of awkward. Use roar again. Okay, so I please switch it back to Hariyama. That'd be hilarious. Torkoal! Sure, why not? Uh, if we had Lava Plume, I'd be able to hurt multiple Pokemon at once, but unfortunately we don't. I also gotta decide this did not go as I had planned. Not that it's difficult or anything, it's just that I wanted to see them all fall at the same time because it's funny. But whatevs, yeah, these horde battles are a thing in the future. You can fight five Pokemon at once, but they're all lower levels, so it's not too difficult. It's just A, it's frame rate heck for the game to try and handle, and B, uh, it takes forever to get through the battle. Uh, use Sledge Bomb on the next one, and you don't care which one I'm targeting. And use that one, and even though there's only one left, it's not going to switch back to the normal camera angle because that would be too much effort. Uh, but Trico, Trico went to level 62, which is nice. There's Assurance, there's the good old Assurance that I know and love. And go ahead and use it one more time, finish the job, and we are good. Down goes Mighty Anna. Level 58 for Swallow, and we are good. Oh, no, we lost again. Uh, and we get money. 200 Pokemonies from each of them. Something, something, Trico evolving. Something, something, will I let it evolve? Something, something, probably not. Something, something, pretend to be surprised. Something, something, pretend to be funny. Ha ha ha, I knew we would lose. I wanted to win in style like the Hoenn Rangers. It's odd. That strategy in intimidate five times in a row should be invincible. Did you cheat, Grumble Grumble? No, I'm just better than you. Nincompoop, stop whining. Matt is on the second floor. It's pathetic, but we can't stop him. Please, please stop him. Guess just gonna head on up there now. I shouldn't have to have let the scoundrels go upstairs, but I'm petrified and can't move. Liar, you just moved right there. You turned around to talk to me. 
Yeah, whatever. Head on up here, and guess we're gonna go fight old Maddie Poo. The timing is always impeccable, Jeffrey. Team Aqua. What do you intend to do with that device? You do realize that this is the last hope we have for saving the planet. What was that? What? Last hope? Hmm. <laughs> Whoa! I ain't laughing one bit, punk. My bro. My bro who I love so much. Are you trying to tell me that everything we've done up till now, that ties, that bind us, all of it was a mistake? My bro has changed since he got mixed up with you. How convenient. It must be for one... Must be for you to put all the blame on another. Should it? Um... You know what? The rocket's full of crazy amounts of energy. It's even more awesome than the ultimate weapon that ended the war 3,000 years ago, right? What? If I use this keystone I've had in Meteor Falls, I can force the energy inside the rocket to explode. It'd be like a mega evolution for the rocket. Mwahaha. Who needs a meteoroid? I'm going to bring an all to end all things with my own power. The one who will complete pay Project Azoth and take the world back to its beginnings. It's me! Jeffrey, this fool, this incredible fool really intends to do it. If we don't stop this now, our whole world will be embroiled in the destruction. You ready to battle, aren't you? Yes, in diddly deed. Wonderful. But don't say that ever again, it ruins the tension. Ooh, ah, I'm gonna smash you up! Time for a double battle against big ol' Meat, Meat McGee, Meat Hands McGee himself, and Generic Aqua Grunt. Cool. Guess I know a Sharpedo and a Mighty Anna, presumably, because they always gotta have a Mighty Anna. Ariyama, Skarmory, let's get this started. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one we go ahead and fight first. Oh, wait, you are a flying type, so I could go ahead and use Earthquake without any consequences. That's cool. Oh, he uses the Mega Rain. Here we go. Mega Sharpedo. That is pretty terrifying looking. I really don't like a lot of the Mega Evolution designs. A lot of them just look really chunky and beefier. And in terms of Mega Evolution itself, like, it's a idea that I would be okay with if it was just executed differently. It's just I feel like it was done very poorly. I think they fixed it a lot with the Z moves, but the Mega Evolution still exists, so you gotta have them and stuff. And I don't like about the Mega Evolutions is that they made certain Pokemon Mega so they'll never get evolutions in the future, because I feel like Gen 4 did, so, did that so perfect where they just gave a bunch of Pokemon new evolutions, but instead they just decide to... they just changed it to where they use Mega Evolutions now, like no Pokemon since Gen 4 has gotten a new evolution, like any old Pokemon haven't gotten new evolutions aside from Sylveon. That was like the only one. I wish that older Pokemon got like time to shine again, but they really don't, except for the Alolan forms, which I'm not really crazy about, and the Mega Evolutions, which A, are only given to stinking beefy Pokemon as it is, and I don't know, it's just weird how Mega Evolution works. It's like, they only give it to the beefcake Pokemon that don't need Mega Evolutions. They don't need extra power. Like, stinking Salamence and Metagross have Mega Evolutions. Stinking Kyogre and Groudon have their own Mega Evolutions. All the starters have, not all the stars, but just the Kanto stars, because it's Kanto. Everyone loves Kanto. And the Hoenn stars got their Mega Evolutions for Omega Ruby Alpha Staff. I was just a tie in. Of course, Charizard has two Mega Evolutions. It was just. I don't know, it made Pokemon a lot less pure to me, so I don't really like it all that much. Uh, get rid of Hariyama, though. Or, got rid of Mug, not Hariyama. Uh, Soundbaker to level 60, which is nice. And Aerial Ace on Sharpedo. Should finish the job. There you go. That was a really easy battle. I knew I wouldn't win, but hey now. Who said what? I like how her, his hand was bigger than her entire stinking head. Whoa, whoa, darn it, am I not good enough, bro? No, you are not, bro. Jeffrey, now is our chance. Take the dimensional shifter and... <laughs> what? Aster snatched the dimensional shifter away from Matt. How big is this thing? That Pokemon, doesn't it belong to... Nice one, Aster. You're the, the Draconoid, yup, the Draconoid, yup, or you could just call me Zinnia. Aster, mer, thank you, dear, mer, mer, now then, that is an impressive machine. Snap your fingers, the asteroid vanishes, and we all live happily ever after. Ha ha ha, indeed, it's like the former champ said. 
This thing is the best hope we have of saving the planet and everything on it. But you know, it could also be the worst tragedy imaginable for some other world and everything on it. What are you trying to say? I'm not talking to you. You don't get it. Ugh. But you, Jeffrey. Hope for our world, tragedy for another. You get it, don't you? I do. And you come through again. You never disappoint me. My people know it. From generation to generation, we pass along the lore about the distortions in the world. Uh, world boom? Oh, born. I was like, what's a boom? That's a funny word. Boom. Uh, born by the mega evolution mechanism and about the existence of another world which we have long observed to be just like this one and yet not the same that's right a Hoenn region that's almost exactly like this one we live in filled with Pokemon and people like us a world where maybe the evolution of Pokemon took a slightly different path where mega evolution is unknown a world where the war of 3,000 years ago never happened a world where the ultimate weapon was never even built. And then, and in that Hoenn of that world, what would happen if one day, out of the blue, a meteoroid appeared? What would happen to the people of that world without the technology you destroy to the meteoroid or the power to warp it away? Looks like it's beyond the power of your imagination. What kind of fool are you? You have no substantive sense of proof, and yet you claim another world? One just like our own exists? Out of this fantasy, you you have destroyed our only hope! What have you done? Farewell, brief hope. You, do you even know? Now what are we to do? Calm down there, prof. Oh, it'll be okay. I... We... We can protect this world and the other. Who exactly is we? What are your intentions? Oh yeah, silly me. I forgot the other thing I came for. Ooh? Zinia snatched the keystone away from Matt. Whoa! And that's the keystone gotten. Now I'll put it together with the keystones they've got in their base. Looks like my next appointment is calling, so I'll excuse myself now. Later. Meh. That punk! How dare she try to take my bro Archie's keys too! Not cool, man, not cool! Confound it all! Oh, wait, that's Steven. Confound it all! So, she must be making for Team Aqua's hideout next. That's think, Steven. Think. What to do? What to do? I don't even remember what Team Aqua's hideout is. Oh, God. Confound it all. Hideout next. Okay. But I have I somewhat recollection. That's, like, right next to this place, though, isn't it? Isn't it, like, right off the shore? It's in a cave or something? Uh, this could be kind of Ako Taco if I don't remember. It was, like, right in the water or something like that. But look how far down it is. I have to, like, walk all the way around or something like that? I don't know. Uh, let's see, get on the bike, and see if we can find our way, but yeah. Uh, I don't know, it's just kind of interesting how... I do appreciate the fact that it's just something entirely different. It's like, it has nothing to do with gym badges, or like an evil organization or something like that. It's just something entirely new, which I really like. Uh, but I do feel like that the writing could have been done a lot better, but the writing... What she's saying about 3,000 years ago, or like an alternate universe and stuff, it all does tie together with uh, stuff that was sort of built upon in X and Y, Sun and Moon, and just a lot of other Pokemon games, really. It's just, like, it's really interesting how they try to create the story that connects all the games together. Like, even the remakes, they do have significance that are considered different games or different timelines and everything like that. I'm not nearly intelligent enough to be able to explain it all to you, so if you want to go uh, deep into the realms of Pokemon uh, and try and, like, discover all the different timelines and how it all makes sense, then be my guest. But as for me, I really don't even know how to begin the conversation and it's probably it would probably take way too long to even finish it so i'm just not even gonna try hooray for minimal effort now where is that secret hideout i think it's actually right here if we can just go in here 
Uh, jump onto this thing. Have we fought you two? We have not fought you two. What? Is there really anything in a place like this? There's supposedly a strange old man in Shul Cave. Oh, it's Shul Cave. So where's the aqua hideout then, bruh? Uh, we got teammates Kim and Iris. Sure. Uh, are they strong Pokemon, though? But is this the right way? I have no idea. Yeah, Torkoal and Hariyama. Uh, this is probably not where I need to be. So, cutting away, I guess. That's what you get for having the name of one of the crummiest traveling companions in Pokemon anime history. I thought we would win, though. We almost had you for a second there. Uh, not really. Yeah, this is Shulk Cave, it seems. Or Shulk Cave, as I called it. Uh, or at least I probably called it in the LP. Don't want to go through there, though, because that's not where we want to go. Uh, I guess we'll try... Not the bag. We will try flying to... Uh, the other place that's near the water. Uh, this one. Uh, Lily Cove City. That seems a bit more accurate. So we'll go to Lily Cove. And just head on down to the beach. Yeah, this looks a lot more familiar. Let's go up here. There's the aqua hideout that I know and love. Except when it's filled with a bunch of stinking Poojiana. It would have been amazing if I found a shiny Poojiana instead of Zigzagoon. Thank god it wasn't the case. Just right on over here. And here we are at the hideout. How many guys do we have to fight? Uh, well, they'll probably have a bunch of stinking Minions, so I probably want to keep Hariyama out because he's a fighting type. Uh, we'll see. Walk on up here. Got three of them right here, but maybe they are already wiped out. That trainer with the black bobbed hair, she was incredibly strong. But our leader is beyond the rooms full of warp panels. It's not that easy to get there. A woman with a whismer is inside. What, what, what is that dragon type Pokemon user? Her strength, it's astonishing. Would you say she's stronger than Archie? I don't even remember if Archie or Maxi are part of the Delta episode or not. Cause sort of like they sort of became good guys by the end of it, kinda. Uh, let's go over here. If I could step on the panel, thank you. Uh, let's go over here now. Oh, we gotta fight more of them. Whoa, stay away from me! Get away! I was hoping we wouldn't have to fight any more Aqua Grunts, but of course that's not the case. Maybe this is one I accidentally forgot to fight when going through here the first time. That'd be nice if I uh, just had a very easy battle. And this is the only one of its kind, but something tells me that is it going to be it. Yeah, because you're level 49. Okay. Earthquake it is then. Well, I just want to keep Hariyama out for the majority of these fights because it's either a poison type or a fighting type or dark type. So both of which that uh, Hariyama could take care of very, very easily. Uh, Carvana, I guess I could have switched to Trico, so I'll try and make it a bit more variety in the future, but whatevs. Gonna go and do that. Oh, excuse me. Uh, use Vital Throw. And we're gonna get a lot of recoil damage from that because of rough skin, but whatevs. Nothing too terrible. And there you go. I remember, I think I actually did use, uh, Carvana on my team in Emerald originally, like, was, I think I went back and forth between Sharpedo and Waylord, but uh, inevitably for the LP, I wanted to use Waylord because I didn't want to have a Pokemon on my team that was used by the main antagonist as well, so uh, that's sort of my reasoning for that. I assume the all the beds here, we could go ahead and use these to heal ourselves, which is nice. Do we have to fight every single grunt, though, is my question. Uh, thank you. Each person's bed reveals a little something of their character and reveals a unique odor signature as well. Ugh. Uh, taking a break is important, isn't it? Team Aqua doesn't have fixed working hours, nor specific break times, so if we wanted, we could take a break all day long. Gonna head back up here. I assume the trainers that we fight are the ones that are near progress. That girl may have totally destroyed me earlier, but I can't go... I can't go that way all the time. I can't go that way all the time. Okay, I know how reading works sometimes. I may mess up sentences every now and again, but I can't go that way all the time. <laughs> Golbat! Hooray! Not a uh, by Deanna, but Golbat isn't that much interesting either. Even though I used one on my team before. Oh well. Still get to make fun of it and stuff. At least I'm done talking about singing Skarmory every LP. I am officially done with the Skarmory rant. Never will bring it up again. Even though I just did. Uh, that looks really weird and creepy. <laughs> Strength. And, okay, two hit KOs, just can't really complain about that. It's Venno Shock. I like it just goes down there because he's flying up there, so he just thinks the Pokemon's down there. Oh, the limitations of games and whatnot. I'm really excited for Jenny. Like, I don't know, I 
really do like just the the extra sprinkles that every Pokemon game delivers, even if you don't entirely like the newer generations. I just love looking at them because they have so much extra flavor and personality to them that the older games didn't really do because they were on such uh, older hardware that couldn't really show off that kind of stuff, which is really cool. I uh, don't really want any of that. I'm not slacking off. I'm facing a very difficult decision. What drink to take with me on my 12 hour lookout shift? Fresh water, soda pop, lemonade. Uh, why not all three? Uh, let's go over here. I assume he's progress. We fight him. He's progress. Yes, he is. Okay. Do you think I'm just going to stand around while everybody pushes past me? Oof. I guess we could have avoided him if we really wanted to, but I wanted to see if he would actually fight us, because it's important to know which way is progress. Have I said progress enough time for you yet? And there's the obligatory Mighty Anna. And so now Hariyama, or Hariyama, not Hariyama. It's like a hairy yam. For the longest time I thought yam was a type of meat, but it ends up being like a squash or something. I, got, I remember being like genuinely disappointed. I was like, I'm sad. I liked yams as a meat. It doesn't sound as funny when you call it a vegetable. I don't know, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I'll make my own sort of meat called a boom after that misread that I had before, and it'll be hilarious. Unless boom means something else that I don't know, in which case I'll probably have to censor it. Uh, let's go into strength again. Uh, unfortunately, we don't really have anything good to use against a gold map, but whatever. Let's show his crotch once again. Ariyama's just completely decimating this place, or desiccating, or whatever that word is. I don't really know. Just keep on getting on, and we're good. Uh, almost to a level up, which is also very nice. What, are you going to be someone who else pushes right on past me? Uh, yes, I am. Sorry to break it to you, but you kind of stink. Uh, what's over here? Meteorites, natural energy, super ancient Pokemon. Here, we're conducting experiments to understand how they all relate to create a blue orb artificially. But we haven't had much success. It may be too difficult for humans to solve. Yeah, unfortunately, humans are kind of dumb, so they can't accomplish all that much. Uh, let's see. It's really coming like I'm thinking of all the cool stuff that could happen in the future, but like it just won't ever happen because humans are like too lame to ever figure it out. Like I don't trust the human race to actually do anything cool. Uh, let's see. I this is where you got the Master Ball originally. Uh, just get back over here since this wasn't the way. Yeah, the thing is, he was turning back and forth, so he could have been guarding the progress from the other location. So that's kind of weird, or just like it leaves me confused as to where we need to go. Uh, what do you guys say? Hey, you! No, no, no! This is Team Aqua's library, where documents are highly, on highly con confidential planets are stored. I can't read. No outsiders allowed to enter. But I'm here. You're not even going to battle me? Oh, item. Max Elixir. That's nice. Not like I'm going to use it, but whatever. Uh, oh, wait, we actually have information. Uh, I probably have to read all this. God darn it. Oh, let's get things started. Project Azoth, file number one. The goal of Project Azoth is to return to the world, return everything to the beginning. In order to further the project, we must proceed with the research on Kyogre's Primal Reversion. Primal Reversion is a potential of Pokemon evolution, a potential different from Mega Evolution. Mega Evolution is made possible by the energy of Pokemon and people. Primal Reversion is made possible by natural energy. In Primal Reversion, Kyogre absorbs natural energy into its body, thereby increasing its power dramatically. Both states insignificantly enhance, or significantly enhances, Pokemon power. The difference lies in the source of the required energy. Uh, are these all the exact same thing? These are all the exact same thing. Cool. Uh, just get on out of here. And what we need to do now is go this way, since the only option left. Get it left because we went left. Ah, whatever. Uh, we got that guy over there. And more aqua grunts here. Probably progress. I'm just not even going to fight you. If I don't have to fight you, I'm just not going to. Uh, that one's required. I guess we'll just go for it. Hey, you're the intruder who messed up our base. I'ma teach you a lesson. I would show off all these fights, but they all just have like Mighty Anna's and Poochians. Like, you know the gist of it, so I don't feel too bad in skipping one of them. Normally, I'd be like, I need to fight every trainer. I need to get all the experience so that I could win the universe and all that jazz. But now it's the after game. My Pokemon are already champion materials, so there's no real need for that. I could just go ahead and fight whichever ones I want to at my leisure. 
his agility, which isn't going to do you very much good because you go down one hit thanks to Hariyama's Vital Throw. Uh, thankfully still hanging out with some HP, so we'll get some experience. And we're good to go. We look out to level 54. And send out Muck. Okay, you do have one more Pokemon. Plop. Yeah, just plop on down there. Uh, besides Pokemon Let's Go, I've been playing Smash Ultimate, of course, like everyone else is. Uh, do I even go into the rant right now of how disappointed I was with World of Light? I, I don't even want to. It's like, it's so disappointing. Like, I feel like I'll just be going on for way too long. That'll save that for another time. But uh, let's talk about a good thing I like about Smash Ultimate. I wanted Squad Strike to be a thing in the game for so long. When they got like a little hint of it in Smash Tour, uh, when you like you built your own roster and then you used it at the end of the board game event thing, I was like, can we just have this as a regular mode where we could choose like a roster of characters, like sort of like Marvel vs. Capcom? And they stink and do it. I'm so happy that they finally did it. It makes me, I've been wanting that for so long. So games are a lot more exciting and interesting that we could actually have stocks of different characters. And then we got a Max Revive. And I assume Zinnia is at the end of this path. Just run on over. I should probably switch to a different Pokemon or heal up Hariyama or both. Uh, we'll switch to Salabi. And we are going to use a Hyper Potion on Hariyama. Get all that HP up in there. Fully healed. And let's keep on going. Because at the end of this path we have a Teleporter. Teleport Mario. Uh, what else we got? We got, wait a minute. This is the entrance, is it? Did I just go back to the beginning? What? Excuse me? So this is, wait, what? That's not how logic works. Oh, what? I, I don't understand. Oh, come on! Hey, if you want to get to Archie, you gotta take me out first. You're years away from being able to beat me, though. Wow, way to rip off the kid who says you're about 10,000 light years away from facing Brock. But Archie is here. That's weird. I didn't think he would be. Mighty Anna, big surprise. And now that I think about it, Salabi is not a good Pokemon to have out in front. Oh, uh, whatever. Gonna go ahead and use Mega Evolution. Just get a bit more damage on our side. And use a really weak Shadow Claw, I guess. Go and do that. Mega Salabi. Like, I wish Salabi and Mawile got their own evolution, but now because they have Mega Evolutions, they're never going to get them because only fully evolved Pokemon get them. So it's kind of lame. I know it sort of acts as like a Mega Evolution. If like, if this was Salabi's design for a regular evolution, I would be okay with it. It's just the fact that it's a Mega Evolution. So it's like temporary. It doesn't have its own name. It's not unique in any way. So that's why I don't really like it all that much. Uh, just use Shadow Claw again. Uh, almost KO. Just one more. We'll be good to go. Uh, keep on using Crunch. Crunch, Crunch, Crunch. Bunch of Crunch, Bunch of Crunch. And defense went down. I always thought, remember thinking that Crunch is like the ultimate move. Because I always used Bite back in the day. And Crunch just always seems so much more devastating. But in reality, it's just like, eh, it's not that great. Not terrible, but it's just like, not terrible, but not impressive. Speaking of, another thing that I'm happy about with Smash Ultimate... Joker from Persona 5 is coming to Smash Ultimate. Oh my god. If you didn't see it, I made a top 10 video a while back talking about my most desired newcomers for Smash Ultimate. And I mentioned Joker as an honorable mention just because I didn't think it would ever happen. So I didn't really want to make him a super important character on the list. And I had I already had one ridiculous character on the list. And that was Makoto from Metal Master. So I didn't want to have like multiple ridiculous characters. But Joker is actually happening. I cannot believe it. So... My god, the fact, also the fact that he's the first stinking DLC character that they announced, so... And the fact that Sakurai probably intends to top that surprise four more times... It's stinking insane. I'm so excited to play as Joker. I, also, just the fact that there's gonna be Persona 5 music in Smash Bros. That's amazing. Oh my god, I just love it so stinking much. If you haven't played Persona 5, please sing and do that. It is one of the best games I've ever played. And unfortunately, like, I don't know if I could Let's Play because I don't know if the embargo is, like, will ever get dropped on it because Atlas didn't want people spoiling the game. I know you could play it up to, like, the final area now, but I don't know about the rest of the game. I know some people have Let's Play the game with no consequence, but, like, maybe it'll happen in the future for them. I have no idea and can't really just base it off of them. Like, the fact that they made the statement saying that 
you will get your channel deleted or whatever if you uh, do anything regarding that game. If you upload any footage of it, then you will get in trouble. And like the fact that soundtracks of the game still get taken down every now and again, it's all really scary. So I don't know. I would love to let's play Persona 5, but A, that'd be a really long and weird LP. And B, I don't want to risk losing the entire channel. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So she was right here, went through that pathway. Down here is what exactly? Oh, this thing again. God darn it. Oh, I remember hating this. Oh, off to a great start. Time for some speed up music. There you go. Okay, we found her. All right, and the winner is Zinnia. Archie, are you okay? Ugh, I'll be key howled. How did I get beat by this little slip of a girl? Meow, meow. Oh, oh, what's this? Aren't you a happy girl, Aster? Just what I'd expect of my daughter. We're so in sync. <laughs> you, who are you? Who am I? That's a surprisingly difficult question. I couldn't become who I was supposed to be, so who does that make me now? Haha, <laughs> whatever, right? Enough with the in into introspection and introspection and the soul searching and the confusing words. You there, Jeffrey, don't just stand there like a stick in the mud. Come on over and say hi. You Scamp, but why are you? Isn't it? Isn't it obvious he's the hero, right? Here to save the world again. Oops, but it looks like he's a bit too lame this time. If only you'd been here just one minute earlier. Oh, a bit too late. I thought I said a bit too lame. I was like, what? Whoa! Is he gonna grab the keystone away from Archie? Archie, hang in there. There now, I'd say this keystone is mine. We finally got everything, Aster. Now we can do it. The summoning. We will summon Rayquaza. Uh, I got it in another dimension if you just want me to trade it over. Well then, looks like my job is here. Ugh, looks like my job here is done. So don't mind me while I excuse myself. So, oh, Jeffrey? I really hope you'll come chasing after me, you know. We'll be heading to that ancient tower sealed since primal times. The Sky Pillar. Oh god. Pillar is now banned from this household! If you don't know what that is, well, ask the former champ of yours. He'll know what I'm talking about. Find me there. Mirror. Oh man, what makes you what makes her think she could just do whatever she wants and then hightail it out of here? Little scamp. Heh, <laughs> fine. I guess it's just fate that you showed up now of all times. Shelly. Give it to the kid. What? Is that okay? Yeah. What could I do with a mega stone anyway? Now that I've lost my keystone. I understand. We obtained a Sharpedo Knight. The Sharpedo Knight. Make sure your Sharpedo holds onto it tightly. That might have been Shelly talking my bad. You take my power, scamp. I'm giving it to you. That woman. I don't think she's that just any old trainer. Not with the way she controlled those Dragon-type Pokemon of hers. I got no idea what she's planning, but I think you're our best bet stopping her now, little scamp. Do that for me. Will do, Captain Sir. And we got a phone call. Jeffrey, are you alright? Is that right? I've never even imagined. The Keystone, the Sky Column, and the Draconoid People. So that's it. I begin to see the line connecting the dots. I think we need to meet up once we just one at once and discuss what we should do next. I'll be waiting in the space center up on the second floor. Do hurry. Guess we're heading on out of here, but we're going to save that for the next episode. We made a lot of good progress right here, and I think we are good to end things off. And I also am going to take forever in a day just to get out of here. Can I sleep in Archie's bed? Oh, I can't. Oh, he's got a little sailboat. How nice. It's a model of a ship. It seems quite old, but it must be well cared for. It's absolutely spotless. 
Okay, we're just going to end this off right here. Next time on Pokemon Delta Emerald, we're going to talk with Steven once again to discuss our next plan, which is probably going to be revolved around heading to the Sky Tower. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. <laughs>